welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. So today's video is going to be my quarterly's empties video, but prior to doing that, I'd like to wish you guys all the best 2018 ever. 2017 was great, was lovely, it was busy for me, um, and a lot of things actually happened. We'll talk about my New Year's resolution, and of course, as a general New Year's resolution, and it pretty much the same every year is to get healthier, do more exercise, eat more healthier. I know I eat a lot of junk, um, hence that's why I'm like, as, as we age, um, it's not a good sign. So at the same time, of course, for beauty products wise, my resolution is every three months to pretty much finish 20 plus items um, so that I can actually help you know, start to purge certain items that I have at home. I mean, I accumulate a lot, I purchase a lot. So it's a way of, I guess, saving money to look back on what I already have and actually use them. I know in the past, um, I haven't really been able to keep that up, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try hard for, you know, the next three months to actually finish 20 plus items. I know the last three months I have because I just counted the, the items that I finished and there has been 23 different items. So I'm gonna go through them and of course give you guys my little thoughts on them. So let's start off with, I guess, my micellar waters. So I finished this travel size one. I actually finished it while I was um, going to LA and Vegas uh, with my friends. And of course, I also finished the Etude House Wonder Pour Freshener. It's very, very similar to a micellar water and it it says it's a 10 in one, which I don't exactly uh, fully, fully agree on it because some of it I feel like, well, if it deep cleanse, then of course it would remo remove like, you know, dead skin cells and all that. So to me, that's like one in, in instead of like 10 in one so that it does like 10 items. But anyhow, it does do its job. Um, and I have really no complaints on it. There's no like, you know, special scent to it. So I really like that. And of course, I also finished the uh, Simple Cleansing uh, Micellar Water as well. This one, to me, didn't do exactly what I wanted to do as much. Um, I felt like I had to use more of it in order to remove like a full face worth of makeup. Um, don't get me wrong, I don't just use this and call it a day. I do double cleanse, but I feel like it needs to remove as much as it can before I, you know, cleanse my face after and still find that there's a lot of product on my face, so that's that. Um, as for, I guess, body and hair, I finished the Etude House Berrylicious Scrub and Wash. I know Sarah from, um, my swapper who sent me one of these. It smelled great. I love it. And of course it does give me that little bit of a scrub. Not a super deep scrub, but it does its job. And my other, I guess, travel size ones that I finished are these two. This is the Ice Strawberry Dream. This is like a milky um, shower cream kind of thing. And this is the Strawberry Swirl. Um, this is a shower cream as well. Both of these just have been sitting around for a bit. So I thought, you know what, it's about time that I use it up. And another travel size one that I used when I was traveling was actually the L'Occitane. This is the Relaxing Shower Gel. It just has a very strong um, lavender kind of scent because lavender gives you that relaxation, which is great. And then of course, as for my shampoo and conditioner travel size one that I finished was actually these two. Um, I believe this came with like a subscription, like a Japanese beauty subscription box that I got. So this is the super, they're both super mild uh, shampoo and conditioner. Both of these are actually from the Shiseido brand. Uh, one of their, I guess, sister brand. It does do its job, has a very light scent to it, which is great. Um, and it's quite gentle on the hair and it does repair it in a way as well too. So moving right along to cleansing wipes. Of course, I finished cleansing wipes this month. Um, one being the simple, this is the uh, cleansing facial wipes that I've been really liking. I thought I also try out the Yes one, the Yes um, hypoallergenic uh, facial wipes. Um, I didn't like it as much as I thought I would, I have to say. And I remember it being because um, I know some YouTubers have been raving about it and I have yet to try it out, so I thought I'd give it a shot. And it, I didn't feel like it cleaned as much as I want it to clean. 
um, and the fact that it does also have a very strong cucumber scent. And I feel like when I rub it close to my eyes area, it does sting a little, for me anyways. So I try to avoid those areas when I was using this wipe because, you know, there was 30 wipes, so that should last me for a whole month um, versus something that's like 25. Um, price points, I think this may be like a few dollars more than this, but given the fact that there's five more wipes than this one, so moving right along to my face, I also finished the Body Shop Seaweed Pore Cleansing. Um, this is, I believe, the old packaging. So yes, it did take me a while because I only use facial scrubs like once or twice a week. So it took me a while to finish this. Um, it does do the job and I really like it. It's a very gentle scrub on your face and you don't feel like it's like taking a whole lot or like stripping your skin completely. So it works great. I also finished the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cleanser. So I only use this when my face is more normal or it's dry because this um, actually keeps it a little bit more hydrated than, than other, I guess, cleansers that I use. I also finished up a toner from Belief. Um, I really don't have any complaints on this, but of course I did a whole video on this, um, the kit that I bought. So I'll probably link it in the description box down below so you guys can go and check that out. My thoughts have of it hasn't changed. I also finished two of these um, cushion foundations and it's because I usually carry these when I go traveling because they're so convenient and on days where I'm just lazy and I'm running short on time, then that's when I use it more often. I've talked about these in many of my empties video. This is the Maybelline Dream Cushion in 30 Warm Nude. This is a little bit dark for me, um, but I do like to use this in the summer. And then the other one is the L'Oreal True, True Match Lumi Cushion in W3. This actually works a lot better for me during the winter time. Um, moving right along to, I guess, a face, no, face gel, I guess, like a moisturizer. So I did finish one of these tiny little ones. Um, this is the Tarte Drink of H2O. It's a hydrating boost. So it's like a facial gel to me. So it works great. Um, although there's only very little in here. I usually leave this over at my boyfriend's place so that, um, I kind of just use it whenever I'm over there. Right along to my hand cream. The last three months I actually finished a whole lot because um, my hands were just so dry. Um, this is the Etude House one, really, really cute. And I just leave this on my desk at work, love it. And hence, I use it quite often. Um, I finished a L'Occitane, this is the rose and this is the hand and nail one. This is just a deluxe size sample that I used up. I also finished a morning surprise. Um, this is a peach hand cream that I also got from a Japanese subscription box. Smells great. Um, not super hydrating though, I have to say. Like definitely not a nighttime use, but I did use it for night. And of course my favorite L'Occitane, this is the cherry blossom hand cream that I leave in my bag. Of course I finished another one. And then my last two items are actually makeup products. One being, this is the uh, Ramel, this is the Brow This Way, which is a brow styling gel. I pretty much finished it up. Um, I can't really get the stuff that's at the bottom. Does its job. I have no complaints, really. And then another one is a Lippy, which is a uh, Clarins. This is a Clarins. Um, I did get it from a swapper, I believe, um, in Soft Berry 705. I think I have a little bit if you guys can see the color. It's a very warm type of red, I guess, or a pink. So I really did like that. So those are all the items that I finished. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if so, remember to give me that thumbs up. And I do try to upload one to two new videos each week. So do subscribe to my channel and I shall see you guys in my next one. Bye.